Hey everyone, welcome to Nintendo Prime. Now you guys don't remember, uh, the other day we talked about a 4chan rumor that was floating out there. This 4chan rumor dealt with a brand new Nintendo Switch Lite called the Nintendo Switch Lite 5G. And this post was very well put together and it sounded pretty believable in some regards, even though it sounded like a pretty stupid idea to me. Basically, it would be a, a Switch Lite that costs $50 more, has a bigger screen, essentially getting rid of the bezel, and would let you connect to popular cellular networks. And they mentioned that Nintendo had partnered with uh, Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, and then a whole bunch of carriers in other areas as well, such as the UK, Japan, and Australia. And again, it was tinfoil hat time. I literally was wearing this thing. You know, I told you guys it's 4chan. You shouldn't really believe it. Some people actually thought it was a really, really good idea. And the thing is, I find myself at times in a position of privilege. And I don't mean the privilege of, look at this amazing equipment and all the things we're able to achieve together because I have a YouTube channel. I mean that I get access to information from direct sources at times due to my following and these sources wanting to correct things that the common public are not aware of. And in this case, I got direct information related to this rumor that essentially calls the entire thing into question. And I would say this is essentially confirmation that no, a Switch Lite 5G is not coming. Not that you needed confirmation, but in case you did, it's really cool that I have direct access to this information. So what happened was an employee from a certain company reached out to me. Now, I will go into who this company is, but I will not reveal who the employee is, nor will I reveal how I verified who this employee was and verified the things they said, because naturally this person is worried. What if there is a future partnership at some point years down the road? Don't want to get in trouble as well for talking about things that happen inside the company and how the company works. But I can go into some details here, at least about what specifically debunks this rumor. So this person does work for T-Mobile. OK, and this person uh, works in a department that deals with eSIM activation. OK, eSIM activations are essentially the things that are in your phones. Uh, a lot of phones come with built in um, SIM cards, right? They're, they're, they're come with built in SIM cards. A lot of the devices that are used on the go that aren't phones, like, say, a tablet will often have a built in eSIM. You have a laptop that you take on the go. It often has a built in eSIM. Now, you could still use physical SIM cards, but considering that you already have to put an, um, a, a physical cartridge into a switch light and you also have to put in a physical, uh, you know, micro SD card, it's very highly likely that they would not go this route. The Vita back in the day used an eSIM. So this is extremely common that eSIM is the way to go and it's really the way of the future. Physical SIM cards are still a thing, right? I got my iPhone 13 Pro Max here. It takes a, it takes a physical SIM card or an eSIM. It could take either or. Same with the uh, Galaxy S22 Ultra here, which I'm switching over to. Uh, right now, both my phones are down, so I don't have any connection to the outside world except what I got on my computer here. But what's interesting though, is the information we got here regarding this and explaining how this all works and why this is bullshit. So here is what's happening. Here are the details I can read. So I'm not gonna go into uh, everything. However, this person is an engineer at T-Mobile that works with device activation, which clearly if you're going to have if you're going to have a Nintendo Switch, you're going to have that out there. You're going to have something that has to activate with a cellular network. This would be somebody who would be directly in the know about how this works. So if anyone's doing device activation from the device itself or if it uses an eSIM. So this is the, the this is the key part. If it uses an eSIM or even if you have a physical SIM card sitting in your device, when you go to activate that SIM card, it would go through these processes. So even physical SIM cards would still deal with some of this. And he says, our team facilitates that among the different partners. So again, these will be companies they work with. They have to facilitate that device activation. New projects are always at least a full year out once they get to our team. So by the time it gets to their team and they're working on the inner workings of this, the product's a year out. So if it's coming in spring of 2023, they would have already known about it, right? So it's kind of saying, hey, what if it's a time frame thing? No, they would actually already know about it. it does know they often actually find out about it before a year, but it's always at least a year. There's nothing that comes out in less than a year that their team doesn't know about that's going to be using SIM card activation. 
All right. So they do have projects, obviously, with Google, Facebook, Apple, Microsoft, Samsung. None of that's really surprising. All the big tech companies work with all the big cell phone companies. That's not really too surprising. Uh, and there's been zero interaction between T-Mobile and Nintendo or the product team. So, you know. People who take the requirements for parties and hand them on us, hand them to us fully hammered out. So, so the team that hands them the stuff, yeah, they don't they don't really have any, you know, information here either. So it could be possible that they're doing a 5G switch light, only if it's still using a physical SIM, but then obviously it would have to not be activated through the device, which that would make no sense. I basically mean you activate the SIM like on your phone and then you put it in this. That that's just that would be absolutely asinine. So I have I doubt and I do agree that you know some comments I read from you that hey this whole idea is stupid as hell. Anyways, and that's it. There's some additional details and additional conversations that went on uh, because obviously we had to verify all this and make sure everything's all good. But here is the 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 general gist of what I just said. T-Mobile, one of the listed partners for this, has no f clue what this rumor is talking about. There is no ongoing partnership to release a 5G Switch Lite or Switch anything or any sort of Nintendo device in the next year. There's nothing happening, okay? And because there's nothing happening with them, it's highly likely there's nothing happening with Verizon or AT&T and well. And if you guys work at Verizon or AT&T and you are willing to divulge these details to me, you can feel free to reach out, I'll keep you as private as I can. I have to give a little bit of information to so people know like, hey, like this is, where it comes from. These are maybe the departments so you understand the validity of this. I can't just say, oh, you know, a, 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 an AT&T employee. Well, I mean, you could just be a salesperson on the floor. You're not going to know shit. So again, it's going to be one of those situations where there's got to be a little bit of background, but I'm not going to give you away. I, all I know is I love when this happens and this happens because I'm in the position I'm in. And that is a position of being someone that has a following, does get some views. And because of that, People that work at these companies will sometimes reach out to verify or deny certain rumors. And in cases like this, and it's been a while since we've had this happen, we finally have verification that I can physically look at on my screen right now, can physically see that clearly Nintendo is not working with T-Mobile, which means the rest of the rumor is probably a bunch of bullshit since T-Mobile was listed as one of the partners. Again, it's 4chan, it's anonymous, Anybody can say anything. The person's not a former employee at Nintendo. And you might go, you want to argue it. Hey, well, maybe they were wrong about T-Mobile, but they're right about the rest. No. If one aspect is proven to be a complete lie, the rest of it probably is as well. Remember, this is unverified rumor, and this is verified information. This is information I can verify. Maybe you don't trust me. That's fine. Don't trust me. I can't make employees out themselves and put their jobs on the line. All I can tell you is it's bullshit. And if you want to... Come at me for it. Come at me, bro. Uh, I can provide a little bit more information, maybe potential screenshots and, uh, and, and, and other potential things if you really need that. I'm trying my best to keep this person as anonymous as possible. It's already bad enough that we could say he works at this company in this department, but the department has you know many, many people in it. So, you know, good luck trying to narrow it down. I'm just saying, for the love of... All that is holy and all that is integrity. I cover rumors all the time and I often don't get verification on things. I got verification here. It's fake. I love my job. <laughs> Can I say I love being a content creator? I love being able to just, yeah, that was garbage. And here's why. I'm so glad. Thank you. I, I hope so many others come out whenever these rumors crop up. Please get a hold of me. When I when I put out a rumor and I'm covering it, please get a hold of me if you have direct information that can basically debunk rumors. It's really important to me that we not only cover rumors, but actually can get find some factual information out there to know if we should actually be giving this rumor more run than it is. Imagine that this just kept flying and we decided to talk about the Switch Lite 5G on the podcast. That's just continuing to give this room a run. Instead, if it comes up at all, I get to laugh at how the absurdity of fake rumors and that we actually got to debunk one, which is really, really badass. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Enjoy playing your Switch and Xenoblade Chronicles 3 or whatever you're doing, whatever system you're playing. I know Madden, I'm, I'm a big Madden guy. The new Madden game comes out here in a couple weeks. Uh, there's a bunch of cool games coming up for everything. I mean, gosh, that God of War game looks absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to, to dive into that one. So yeah, I'm just saying things are really bright in the future. Things are looking up. Things are looking good, at least for gamers. <laughs> I know Sony's trying to act like things aren't looking up for them, but 
things are fine. The whole industry is in a good place. It's in a great place to be a gamer. And I'm going to catch all of you guys in that very next video, or at least the live stream tonight. We'll be playing Fall Guys tonight on live. So see you guys there. Bye. Thank you.